what happens to wheat once it leaves the farm. In this case, its first stop is ADM Milling, one of the world's largest flour milling companies. Tomas spoke with ADM manager Sean Lindhorst about the importance of locally grown wheat and the journey it takes to become high quality flour. The quality of the wheat represents the quality of the flour. And so we're trying to find the best pockets of uh, wheat available to us out there. The Washington area is a, is a big draw for us. We want to make sure that we're milling good quality wheat so that we have good consistency quality going into the bakeries. That is only going to give us a better quality product at the end of the day. Absolutely. And speaking of that, you guys are working with friends, is that correct? We are. Tell me yeah, a little bit absolutely. about that partnership. We started talking with them about their program that they are introducing to the marketplace called Field of Four. And basically, it's a program that is connecting the growers to the consumer. And the consumer of today, they really want to know where their products come from. Yeah, you know, exactly. And it's really interesting because a lot of the food that we consume in the local market is grown here you know, locally. So we want to uh, showcase that. We want the consumer to see that, hey, we have local farmers, we have a local mill and a local bakery. And that's really what Field the Fork is about and, and Grower Connect as well. After our chat, we put on our safety gear and head out for a tour. The first stop is the grain delivery. So this is one of how many trucks are going to come through here today? About 27 trucks in a single day. And how much wheat in the truck? And there's about 1,000 to 1,100 bushels per truck. Whew. Then the grain goes through machines that clean and separate it from any unwanted materials. It's then broken down and sifted into different flour products. The flour is inspected and now it's ready to be packaged and sent out to different stores, restaurants and bakeries. 